Welcome to the Evening News. I'm Crash Landon. Today we're going to be learning about Chapter 6.5, Parallel and Perpendicular Lines in Algebra 1. Over to the side I have my correspondent, Old Lady Snuffy Pants. The writing in the black marker is the slope-intercept form. M is the slope and B is the y-intercept. Let's look at this equation. Y equals one-half X plus three. One-half is the slope and three is the y-intercept. Back to you, Mr. Harry. Mr. Harry, why thank you, Grandma Snufflepants. Well, that was very interesting that the M is value is the slope and the B is the y-intercept. Next, we have slow-talking Pythagoras. Okay, so you're gonna have to graph this one. So it's, so you go up three, cause there's a plus three there. So you got one, two, three. And then you go from here, and you go rise up one. So you go up one and then there's a two there, so you go over two, so one, two, and so you go up one and up two. And then the line should look like this. That's pretty much it. Now back to Chris. <laughs> Thank you, slow talking Pythagoras. Up next, we have our correspondent, I don't want to be here because his dad is not funny. Okay, um, we have an equation, which is right there, and in order to see if the line's parallel or not, is if you have the same slope, which is the one half. So although these lines have different y-intercepts, they're all parallel because they all have one half as their slope. But if you want to find a perpendicular line, then it's the slope, but you flip it, the fraction, and then you flip the sign. So it would be 2 over 1 and then make it negative. And if this was negative, you make it positive. So it's just flipped around. Chris. Wait, don't leave yet. I just wanted to make sure I understood parallel and perpendicular. So parallel are when we have the same steepness. Can you give me a steepness of your arm? I'll, I'll make it parallel. No. And then... <laughs> okay. Back, back to the correspondent crash landing here. Thank you very much. Moving on. That was a wonderful explanation from my son about per parallel and perpendicular lines. Off next is our correspondent, the yelling hospital mask. So, parallel is same slope. Perpendicular is opposite of typical slope. Back to you, hairy legs. <laughs> on to our next story. What is the negative reciprocal of two-thirds? Remember that perpendicular is the negative reciprocal, so you have to flip it over and change the sign. So when you flip over two-thirds, you get negative three-halves. What's the negative reciprocal of five, you may ask? Well, five is really five over one, so when you flip it over, you get negative one over five. And then what is the parallel slope to negative 4x plus 6y is equal to 7? Notice this is not in slope-intercept form, so we must put it there. If I started with that same equation here in red, and I were to add 4x to both sides to bring it to the other side, I would end up canceling out my x's and end up with just 6y equals 4x plus 7. Well, if I divide by 6 on both sides, I'd end up with this equation right here in green. Notice that my slope would be 4 sixths. And if I have a parallel slope, it must be the same because the parallel is the same. So my parallel slope would just be 4 sixths. Are you enjoying this? On to my next story. And now off to our correspondent, Dog Breath Petunia. Well, that's not very interesting. Welcome back. To state the slope of the perpendicular line, we must put it into slope-intercept form. This line is not in slope-intercept form, so I must get y all by itself. 
So I'm gonna subtract the 2x off of both sides. When I subtract 2x here and here, I end up with this in red. Then I need to get y by itself, so I must divide by negative 10. Dividing by negative 10 gets me this equation here in black, which I can reduce because I have negative over negative, which cancels, and then 2 over 10, which is going to cancel into 1 fifth. This is my new slope-intercept form of the equation, and I must find the perpendicular slope. So I have to take my 1 fifth. I have to flip it over, and I have to find the opposite of it. Therefore, the perpendicular perpendicular slope would be negative 5 over 1 crash landing out!